And reporting for a while on the broken relationship between DC police and a community in Northeast. And along the way, we've talked about the gun recovery unit. They are the team of officers responsible for the stop and first cell phone video and the backyard search video you saw here on the news at 11. So what is this gun recovery unit and why do some people want to see it disbanded? Delia Gonsalves breaks it down in a story you'll see only on the news at 11. Every day these guys come to work, they're looking down the barrel of guns. The elite gun recovery unit's mission is to get illegal guns off the streets, but recently their tactics have come under scrutiny by city council members. We're continuing to use a big sledgehammer. And from many of you on social media, Officer Robert Underwood is the union shop steward over at 6D. That's where those questionable searches happened. He was also one of the first officers assigned to the GRU in 2007. It makes our police department look like they're targeting these people, like they're attacking people, African-American men and women in Deanwood. This is what people are saying. Perception is everything. You know, certain things do look bad. You know, and they're seeing 30, 45 seconds a minute clip of a cell phone video. They don't know what transpired, what gave them a probable cause to be there or just a reasonable suspicion to be there. The GRU has about 30 members chasing down the most violent offenders. It's the only specialized unit in the whole city since former police chief Kathy Lanier got rid of all seven vice units in 2015. Those so-called jump out crews came under similar scrutiny for civil rights violations. The union reps say the city council is following the same playbook and now going after the GRU. They say getting rid of the unit would be detrimental. It's not always going to look pretty, you know, okay, but they're not out there to hurt anybody or violate anybody's rights. We can't have a conversation in a vacuum where we pretend they're just this rogue unit and we don't talk about all the good things that they do as well. Well, here's one of the good things. 688 illegal guns off the streets of D.C., in just the past two years alone. And the union reps say, listen, we should consider each and every one a life saved. The union says we're not perfect. We know we have work to do, but let's sit down with city leaders and community members off camera, no politics involved, and have a real talk so we can begin to work together and understand each other. And we look at the trend.